Right, um, we're looking now at the stereo system in the uh, Rebel. Now we've got DAB. But if we, we've got DAB indicated in the corner there, but if we wanted FM, we literally just press the little radio. We're now in FM and we've got 12 presets of FM. Um, we've then got an FM2, so we've got another 12 presets, and then we've also got AM as well with another 12 presets. To go back to DAB, we've got a little picture, it says DAB at the top there. And then if you want to see which stations are available, you press the little icon in the top, scan down for whatever you want. So Heart 90s, you click on Heart 90s, which is playing at the minute and then you literally just hold it and it's set there so that's the stereo in its uh, most easiest form um, buttons going across the bottom of the system you've got radio which will obviously give you this mode which gives you this subscreen so you've got radio bluetooth apple carplay which will come on in a minute for me auxiliary media bluetooth music android auto and ipod so next thing I want to do is is do my phone. So I'm going to press phone on here and I get this come up. So now to connect, I press connect and search from phone. I make sure that my iPhone is on and the Bluetooth is searching. I've got several devices on there already right okay so it's picked up new search it uh, does have a time limit for what it's doing on here so uh, unfortunately you need to go through the whole process five seconds left so it's picked up my iPhone there so I just click on there for re repair a pair it sent me the message so I click pair it's now so as asking can I put my contacts on there so I allow my contacts so what we do is we've got this screen come up now and in the top left it says contacts so I press contacts we've then got a little arrow with the telephone signal up there download contacts so okay I've already given permission so all the contacts from my phone have now gone into the system and then you can see they're all up on there um, so that's good I can also go keypad if I want to put a call in so that's my phone is in or my contacts are in so that's excellent so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug the USB cord in excuse me for the camera ship oh, I plug my phone in Right, so CarPlay is initiating on my. Sending in another super oh, chat. You need to keep your money. CarPlay is initiated in my phone there, and it's now come up on the screen. So if I press this little tab there, I've now got WhatsApp, um, Prime Music. Cast box, which I listen to podcasts, Google Maps, my calendar, any messages that come in, telephone calls, and then I've got a Google Maps with uh, how long it's going to take me to get to home and the current uh, podcast that I'm listening to. So that's all on there. Now we can use the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you've got Android, you need to download the Android Auto app. Um, but then what we can do is we can use this button here. So I can press the button. Call Johnny Gibbons. Calling Johnny Gibbons, mobile. So it's initiated on my phone. It's calling Johnny. Who's literally in the shed there doing a valet. So that would be annoying for him. Okay, we can also do things like this. What's up, Nikki Mobile? What do you want to say? This is a test. 
please ignore. Your WhatsApp message to Nikki Mobile says this is a test, please ignore. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, it's sent. So that's a phone call I've made and a message that I've sent without doing anything apart from pressing this button and giving an instruction. Um, should somebody message me or WhatsApp me, it will come across the bottom of the screen there. I press it and the system will read the message out to me, ask me do I want to respond. I literally read out what I want to say um, and it will send it. And then also, because this one hasn't got uh, a sat nav in, you can do directions to Warwick Castle. Getting directions to Warwick Castle. And there we go. It's literally brought in the Google Maps and it's going to work exactly the same. Starting as route to Warwick Castle. When you've got Proceed to Marsh Green Road West. When you've got to where you need to go, you just press the little arrow there. So that's all on this system here. It's pretty simple to use. And then once a year, twice a year, sorry, I'll hold it in. You have to change your clock. So you hold the setup button in, press clock, and then you can easily change it and then come back out of that again. So really easy system.